Hard to say. I've, uh, I've, I've, I suppose I grew up in the Apollo era, and I was so excited by the, the moonshots and science. And in fact, when I was young, I thought I would be a astronomer. And then I love computers, so I went into computer engineering. And even then, I thought, well, I'll do computer engineering for undergraduate, and then be an astronomer in grad school. But then there was a particular professor who uh, told me that. Uh, that engineers can also be professors and scientists and researchers, and convinced me that was a uh, that was a uh, I, I suppose honest thing to do as well. Engineers could be researchers too. That that it that it wasn't just you worked in industry, but that you uh, you could go off and create new knowledge as well. When I was a um, when I was a, um, a teenager, when I was a teenager, I was very much, as I said, enamored with astronomy. And I worked with some astronomy professors down at Vanderbilt. I think his name was uh, Professor Hall. And we were studying uh, certain kind of variable stars, variable stars that were variable because there were a lot of very big sunspots on them. And so uh, instead of uh, doing what most teenagers do, I went out to uh, observatory most clear nights and worked with an old strip chart recorder and sent uh, Hall at Vanderbilt lots of data. I don't know whatever happened to him, but at least there was one paper published with all that data. I think it's just the diversity of all the things you get to work on. That you uh, you get to work with uh, grad students, you get to work with middle school kids, you, you get to reinvent yourself, you get to work on whatever problems you want to work on. Uh, freedom to do what you want to do. It's a combination of things, of course, but, but you have to be uh, very inquisitive, probably number one, and then you have to be creative, and uh, obviously you have to be technically competent as well. Well, lately I've been focusing on um, cybersecurity for the power grid, and I've worked on many things throughout my career uh, but I really believe that these critical infrastructures that we all depend on to make society work, uh, they need to be made safe and trustworthy. And uh, although as I've done a lot of other things in my career, I say um, uh, proving theorems is great, but using that good fundamental, if you will, scientific approach to building and engineering systems that are safe and trustworthy, that's, that's really rewarding. You know, it's really hard to, to, to uh, pick any single person. Um, although it's a completely different field, the way evolutionary biologists think, and, 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 and there's a whole group of them, but the way they think, the way they look at a problem from the scientific method is something that I've done a lot of reading on and, and influences how I think. I think you have to think really broadly cross-disciplinary. I think the fact that, that people think that engineers work with systems, things that aren't people, and really it's all about working with people. I mean, professors spend all their day working with people, students, but also researchers and other people. And it's all about writing. It's, uh, it's about communicating. So make sure you can communicate well. My notebook is right there. My paper notebook, not my computer notebook. Oh, it has the stuff that's nowhere else. I don't listen to music in my office, but I listen to jazz music at home and, uh, and in my car.